Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be working with the ESP32 development board and PWM signal. Like in my previous videos, in this video I'm not going to share a lot of theoretical details. So if you want to learn more about the theory behind PWM signal, check the video that I'm going to share down in the description from Collins Lab. I remember watching this video when I was learning about PWM signal. I like his way of explaining things and I don't think that I'm gonna be able to deliver it the way he did. So check it out if you wanna learn more. But in a nutshell, PWM signal is the signal that we can use when we wanna control something more precisely. Sometimes we wanna have more options available than zero and the board's maximum voltage. For example, the board's maximal voltage can be 5 or 3.3 volts and sometimes we want to have more options available. For example, sometimes we want to have voltages between those two values that the boards offer. And when we have that feature available, we're going to be able to control something more precisely. For example, control the light's brightness or motor speed or maybe control some other modules that receive PWM signal as input and trigger different features that they offer. Using PWM signal with the ESP32 development board is a little bit more complicated compared to using it with the standard Arduino board, but it is not something complicated. I think that you're not going to have any problems doing it because I'm going to share everything that I wrote so you can use it and make something interesting out of it. So let's start experimenting. Here are the things that we are going to need for this experiment. The ESP32 development board, a multimeter, Arduino IDE with ESP32 support installed and an Android smartphone. Here are the dots where I'm going to put the multimeter's probes on. Download or clone the code from this repo. I'm going to put the link down in the description. The code is written to work with my Android app. If you want to use the code with some other apps available on the market, feel free to tweak it and make it suitable to your needs and upload the code to the board. After that, we need to have an app to send Bluetooth commands with the board. Download my app. I published it on Play Store. Go to your Bluetooth settings and pair the phone with the board. Go to the PWM signal menu. And here it is. We are able to change the voltage just by adjusting the virtual potentiometer that I created. So we're going to be able to control something more precisely. As I said before, you can use this PWM signal to control light's brightness or motor speed or other things. Not just being able to turn something on and off. We're going to do something in between. It has wide usage. Thank you guys for watching, that was everything that I've got. I hope that it was interesting for you. I'm planning to update the app and put some other things on it. So if you want to follow the progress of the app and the code because they work together, so subscribe to my channel, that means a lot. And I'm planning to post videos related to the progress of the app and how we can do these things and learn something. So yeah, thank you and we are going to see each other in one of our next videos. Bye-bye.